I'm, I'm ready to fight. I'm ready to fight for what's inside my home. When I do that, I don't fight with my family. <laughs> never seen. 30 years of doing this, never seen a church defeated by anything that happened from outside. Every church mess I have ever been involved in in my entire life, every church I ever saw fall apart, occurred because of something happening inside the snake got in the house. And when the snake gets loose in the house, <sighs> Katie, bar the doors, get the hoe. And you know the kind of hoe I mean. It's, God, you have to be so careful what you say now. It's just like, jeez, Louise. Everything's about the cross. And when we lose focus, my point in going through all that is this, is any time we lose focus of this, I don't care how deep the water gets, I don't care whether it's ankle deep, knee deep. Ooh, look at me. I'm in, I'm in waist deep water. Glory. Hallelujah. It feels so good in here. Hallelujah. The water, come on in. The water's fine. I don't care whether you think you're flowing in some majestic, mighty, whatever. When you lose sight of this, When you lose sight of the source. When you lose sight that it was all bought and paid for by the blood of Jesus. When you lose sight of the fact that you wouldn't need to have dribble where it were not for the cross. You see, I found a church that can stay focused on the right thing can accomplish all things that God's called it to. All right, do I go to this next part or do we go eat ice cream? Fried chicken. Now let's 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 have some filet mignon first. He brought me by the way of the north gate and led me around onto the outside of the outer gate, by the gate that faces east, and behold water was trickling. The key words here in, in this is the man led Ezekiel around by the way. We all have to be led. No scripture. Peter says is of anyone's private interpretation. We we need to be led. We need to be led by the Spirit, right? But we also need to be led by spiritual mothers and fathers. It's lost. I'm telling you, it's lost in today's modern day church. It's lost. It's given lip service, but it's lost. And because of it, we got wacko doctrines out there like crazy. we got preachers letting the sexual perverse not just become a part of the church, but marrying them in the church. Because spiritual mothers and fathers are being ignored now, all manner of sin is being winked at in the house now. It's okay to live together. As soon as you want to, we'll marry you. Sorry. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Man up, woman up. My God, be righteous or get out. If you're going to mouth that you're a child of God, then act like a child of God. For Pete's sakes. 
If you don't believe Jesus is the only way, please don't stay in this church. As a matter of fact, if you don't believe Jesus is the only way, you would do the church you're in if you're listening on the Internet by now. You'd do your church a favor now to get out of it. Well, now, Pastor, that's soft, strong stuff right there. I'm headed for the deep end. I'm headed for the deep end. A little, a little dab don't do me. You know what it says there? It says that Ezekiel was led by this God. I don't know what I would do without other men and women around me that I consider spiritual mothers and fathers and mentors. This might shock you, but I actually do what they say now. <laughs> My wife's over here just chuckling. Why? Because there was a time I thought what they told me was debatable and I'd just do what I wanted to do. And we all know how that turned out. So guess what I do? I listen to my mentors. I listen to my spiritual moms and dads that I have around me. And I'm getting so long on the tooth, I don't have a lot of spiritual moms and dads left, but i got mentors. Not mean tours, mentors. And, and until we're willing to get rid of the mentality of, that they had in the judges where everyone did what was right in their own eyes, we're just going to be, it's going to be a mess. It's going to be a mess. So somewhere along the line, we got to, we got to decide to listen to somebody. I listen to nobody but to God. Then why are you here? I only hear the voice of God. Then why are you here? You don't need this church. You don't need me. My point is, I must hear the voice of God not only for myself, but I must hear it through other people. And anything I believe I've heard God say in the Spirit, I wait till I hear somebody else in the natural confirm it. And not just because it's what I want to hear and preach. Why did I come off of Facebook when we were doing the most PR for this weekend for our big opening in our new place? New place. Worst time in the world to come off of Facebook. The lead man is not putting it out there. Instead, I go off Facebook. Why? I needed to quit hearing all the voices and hear God so I'd know what to bring over the next three weeks. So I cut all the voices off so I could hear the voice. But I've been listening to a lot of good preaching. So that I made sure that the voice that I heard is the voice of God and that somebody else is doing what? You with me? Now here's the deal. We're going to stop here. I knew we wouldn't get through all this. It says the water was trickling from the south side. Actually, that word's very kind. Because in the Hebrew, it literally could mean just drip. It was just dripping. Now remember, the next stage is what? Ankle deep? This is just a drip. This was just barely enough to get the soles of your feet wet. This was just enough to make the water a little, I won't use the word muddy because it's pure water coming out of there, but let's just say this was seed water. This was just enough taste of the things of God, just enough taste of the Spirit of God to make you decide whether you wanted to go any farther with Him or not.
It's the part that... Hmm. There's something going on there. I'm not sure what it is. Most people look at the drip and go, i got to find me some more. That, that, that ain't, that ain't going to do. Not understanding that God begins everything with the seed. The, the small thing. And then you go on a journey. We'll go into this more next week, but I need to give you this so I can leave you in the right spirit. That river went from a drip to a river that was so powerful that it couldn't be forded. Our English rendition of it says that it had to be swam in, but the real Hebrew thought is this, is that the flow was so powerful you couldn't even swim in it to get across. Some moves of God, God wants us to take our hands off and watch what He does. That's where the fear of the Lord comes in. But to get from here to there, Ezekiel had to walk a mile to get there. He had to walk a mile to get there. Actually, 1.3 miles. It's interesting because he would go another thousand cubics and then he'd get in the water and it's ankle deep and he'd have to go another thousand cubics and then he'd walk into it and it'd be knee deep and then he'd go into a... I, I got I to gotta tell you, I, I got to finish this, okay? Punch your neighbor and say, don't go to sleep. Don't punch him hard. I, I got to give you this. I have to give you this. When you get to the knee deep water, in the Hebrew mentality, it wasn't just that the water was knee deep, that was the measure it was to your lap. In other words, in that water, you could sit in it and soak first yeah just a little bit ankle deep oh that's fun you know you can live around ankle deep water but it's a lot of hard work why because you have to carry buckets and buckets and buckets and buckets and buckets that's where most of, that's where most Christians are they're working so hard for the anointing I got to run to this conference. I got to run to that conference. I got to get to that preacher. I got to get to that church. I got to. I got to pray and fast for fifty days. I got to be like Moses. I got. That's bucket full anointing. Jesus didn't say bucketfuls in John chapter seven. He said rivers of living water would flow from you. So you have to come out of that, walk up the bank, then you go back in, and you have to get in the soaking position. Sometimes the Lord will make you walk a dusty road and then put you back in the stream and make you soak. We don't know how to soak in the presence of the Lord anymore. We think we've got to be doing something. Busy, 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 busy. Soak. Then it went up to the loins, and actually the, not just the loins, but to the chest. That's when the water covers all the reproductive parts. And you're ready to bear fruit. <coughs> if you're working, 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 and you're not bearing fruit, it's because you hadn't soaked long enough. How long do I have to soak? It depends on how dirty you are. <laughs> 